What is going on guys, it's your boy Ram here, your favorite Radiant player. And in today's video, we are going to do an in-depth, true stretch resolution guide. And I know I made a quick one in the past, but I thought I would add on to that one and show you guys some things I left out of that video, such as how to get custom resolutions that players like Senteric use, and the difference between true stretched and regular stretched, or even native resolutions. And I also would like to let you guys know that I will be giving away one BCT bundle to one person who likes this video and comments what type of educational content you'd like to see from me next. And I'd also like to thank today's sponsor, Valiant Tracker, for helping me give back to you guys. Now, Valiant Tracker is a program which I've actually been using for over a year now to track all my in-game stats. It shows you agent win rates, headshot percentages, map win rates, and it also has a cool feature which actually shows your teammates' ranks and stats when you get into a lobby. There's also a live match feature that can show you the stats for both teams while you're in a live game and a match history tab to go through everyone's stats after the game. I also really think the guides tab is cool as you could learn lineups for any agent you're using while you are mid game. If you want to gain an edge using Valorant Tracker, install the app today using my link below in the pinned comment or description. Now back to the video. Do you notice anything different between the player model on these two different resolutions? There isn't at all, because without the use of True Stretch, the only thing a 4-3 resolution will change is your UI and your HUD. The use of True Stretch involves the use of a third-party program called WinXP, which should be safe to use, and I've been using it for about a year now with no troubles, as well as some other Valorant Pro players will use it, and another Valorant creator that's pretty known going by the name of Razu uses it as well. If you'd like to read more about the Riot's penalties and bans FAQ for yourself, I'll put it in the description for you to check out. Alright guys, so if you want to get a custom stretch resolution that's not currently available for you, what you'll do is right click on your NVIDIA control panel, click on this, find manage 3D settings, from here make sure DSR factors are turned off, and then find change resolution, scroll down a little bit, click customize, from here we're going to try 1440 by 1080 this and then you're going to want to change your refresh rate to whatever hertz your monitor has and then click test so once you have your custom resolution in here you can now hop onto valorant and it should be available so now that you're on valorant you're going to go to your settings go to video and you should see your res that you just created so you can see here 1440 by 1080 is available from here you'll click apply and your screen will go to stretched all right so now my screen is now on stretched so in order to use true stretch res you're gonna need win explorer win xp whatever you want to call it um i'm gonna link this down in the description for you guys and then you're gonna go to the bottom of the page and click download windows explorer you're gonna get a zip file once you get the zip file opened you can drag this and extract it to your desktop now go to your balance settings, change your aspect ratio to fill, and your display mode to windowed. Click apply, and then click confirm again. Next, open your NVIDIA control panel and go to adjust desktop size and position and change it to full screen. And then change resolution on NVIDIA control panel and select any 4x3 resolution you want to use. After that, you can open up Windows XP and select Valorant. And then under style, uncheck the WS underscore border, and then under size and position, click on maximized. If you still have black bars after this, go to your window search bar, type in run, and then you're going to type in this. I'm going to put this in the description for you to copy paste to make your life easier. Click OK. This is going to be your configs for your account. This is my account that I'm using right now. So what you'll do is you'll click there, then click windows. Go to game user settings, click edit, and find B should letterbox equals true, and you're gonna change this to false, and then save, and you should have a fix right now. The first stretch resolution that I would suggest for you to try out is 1280 by 960. This is a decently known resolution and is used by the pro player Nats, who cemented himself as one of the best players in the Valorant scene, so this is definitely one you wanna check out and try. I'd also suggest 1024 by 768 says this is one of my personal favorites and is one of the lowest resolutions in the game without using a custom resolution, which can help you out if you struggle with FPS problems. 1280 by 1024 is also my second favorite stretch resolution and a very popular one to use. 
that I would definitely suggest using as it's perfectly good for stretched and you also have some decent quality considering it's stretched. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. 800 by 600 is an extremely stretched custom resolution you could also use that I would suggest, especially on a lower end PC. If it, it can help a decent amount with FPS problems and you can also enjoy the use of stretched while using it and getting an FPS buff. And finally, I'd suggest using 1440 by 1080. This is what another top contender for my top five stretch resolutions to use and it feels very smooth. Remember that these resolutions are all gonna be personal preference and not one is better than the other. So test these all out to see which one is the correct fit for you. That's going to be all for today's video guys. I really hoped you enjoyed and if you did, make sure to subscribe to, with notifications so you never miss a video. And I'd also like to remind you guys I've been streaming on YouTube and Twitch recently. So make sure to check out my Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube and the support has been amazing. Thank you guys for 48,000 subscribers. We're getting close to 50k now and it feels great. And shout out to all the channel members that you can see on screen now. And if you want to become a channel member, go ahead and check the link in the description and click that as well. And make sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Discord to keep updated with me as I'm the most active on those platforms. If you have any questions, make sure to ask me down in the comment section below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.